Let's talk about liveaboard catamarans. And I'm going to show you a 2017 Lagoon 42 cat that just sailed across the Atlantic from France. So this boat is better than new. Now you might say, what do you mean better than new? Well, a lot of dealers won't tell you the truth, which is new boats can come with a lot of bugs, and they often do. In fact, when a new boat comes out of the line that, the production line, that is a new in a series, like a new model, they can have 50 defects if a surveyor comes on there and writes a report. And so those defects have to be worked out, and, and they have on this boat. That's why I say better than new. All right, now, liveaboards all tell me the same thing, which is the most important feature that trumps everything else is usable interior space. Because when you move from a house to a boat, you're giving up a lot. And catamarans give you more space than any other type of boat. And the owner version catamaran does that best because one whole hull is dedicated to the owner's suite and you have plenty of storage cabinets to stow your stuff away and not live in clutter. Now most people don't understand this but only 10% of the major production models are owner versions. The rest are charter versions because they go into charter at some point in their lives. So they're relatively rare and when you do find them they, they cost a little more. A boat like this in the 42 foot range would probably be 15,000 to 35,000 more than a charter version. Part of the reason that they're more is the engine hours are usually lower because they're not used in charter so they're not used as much. All right, so let's go on board and check this boat out. All right, so on that side we have a swim ladder and there's a deck shower so you can wash off the salt water when you get out of the water. This cockpit has a dark gray color on the cushions and the great thing about that is they don't show dirt. You know, all these guests sunblock all over themselves and then they they get on your cushions and it doesn't look too good after a while but these tend to hide that and uh, if you put I heard if you put Thompson's water seal on these when they're new it extends the life dramatically and they won't absorb things like sunblock and other things all right so Here's the steering station up this set of stairs. And I don't have the electronics on, but we've got some new B&G, that's Brooks and Gatehouse electronics to do the work for you. Makes it all so easy. Everything's led back here, so you know one person can actually sail this boat. Uh, this hardtop has an enclosure, so hidden up under these lips of the mini hardtop are drop down curtains so you can stay nice and toasty and dry if it's pouring rain out. This top slides back but if it's not slid back you can see to your sails up there and uh, I, I just love these boats. They're really well thought out and I like being up high here. You can see all the corners of the boat. So when you get ready to dock the boat, it's easy to see where you're going. On some of these cats, you know, where you're not as high, you're down here and you can't see over here when you're docking. If you go starboard side too, you, you have a problem. All right, so you can easily get out on the side decks and go forward if you have to help with the dock lines. Here's the foredeck. This one has a, a bow sprit for an asymmetrical type spinnaker. And 
And this eyebrow shades the salon in the hottest times. Whoop here shades the salon during the hottest times of the day and keeps that area 10 degrees cooler than it would normally get. And these vertical window salons usually give you more usable interior space. I really like them a lot. These lockers are locked and <laughs> I'm in a time crunch today so I can't go, I don't have time to go get the keys and open them up, but there's plenty of deep storage in there. The, the windless locker has a very deep well so that the chain never backs up and clogs like it does on some other designs that aren't as good as Lagoon. These Lagoons are really well thought out. Uh, these hatches are recessed, so you tend not to trip on them. And I love these boats. All right, so there's a fridge freezer made by Isotherm. And the engine spaces are here in these watertight compartments. Again, I just I don't have time to go f find out where the keys are because they're locked. And so, but they have a couple of beautiful brand new Yanmar diesels in there. All right, so going into the salon, there's the nav station. Check out the panoramic view. Keeps it bright and airy. One time I was caught in a monsoon for four days with my in-laws and it was quite nice because we had these beautiful views. The boat was swinging at anchor, so the views were constantly changing. Uh, I like lagoons because they usually give you a little more storage space in the galleys for your things. And uh, there's storage in here in this seat. Um, and there's some of the electronics. There's uh, duplicates down here. There's your VHF and a stereo. If we walk down in the starboard hull, here is the master stateroom with a nice semi walk around island berth. So that if you and your partner are sleeping there, you don't have to wake the other one up to get up in the middle of the night to check on the anchor or whatever you got to do. You can roll out to one side and it's easy. All right, so there's a little desk, more cabinets to stow things. The head or bathroom is over here, but first I'm going to show you the washer dryer. And there's a separate standalone shower so you don't get it. the other areas all soaking wet. Nice big picture windows make it feel bigger in here. And this boat has ocean air screen. So that you pull one side over and that's a bug screen. You pull the other side over, it's a sunscreen. You can push it halfway. <laughs> it's a great thing. All right, so we got a nice big walk-in shower. Now, if you don't want to be part of the party and stay up late one night and you're just wanting to go to bed, well, you just pull this door over here and you just shut yourself off from the rest of the world. On this side of it are some bookcases to keep your favorite reading material. The fridge is behind this cabinet door. And then the freezer is down here. And I like these a lot better because they hold the cold better. You know, it just doesn't all run out when you open it up. So that now we're going to head down below and check out the port hull. And we've got another nice large double berth, semi walk around island berth. Nice, bright, and airy with an ensuite head and shower, separate shower. These 42s 
offer a lot of living space. I really like them. They're great for a couple or a small family. All right, here's the forward stateroom on the port side. Love the picture windows. And this particular head does not have a separate shower. You just don't have enough room for those, but it's it's here in your in the faucet for your sink and you and there's a mounting plate around here somewhere where you put it up and you can take your shower there if you like. All right. Lots of storage. This rigid bottom inflatable has an aluminum rigid portion which makes it much lighter than the fiberglass portions and this particular boat has a 20 horse Yamaha and that will plane with four adults in this boat so you can get to shore super fast some people could even water ski behind this um, this boat is done right